Okay, so if you understand how to work with fractions and understand the basic concept of absolute value, and that's what these bars are right here, well, this will be a very easy problem to solve. Okay, so here is the question. We want to figure out what the absolute value of negative 3 eighths minus 7 eighths is equal to. All right, so without using a calculator, if you think you have the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, so once again, the absolute value of negative 3 eighths minus 7 eighths. What is the answer? Well, the correct answer is equal to 5 over 4 or 5 fourths. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A plus, and you're like, oh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I don't even know what absolute value is. Well, this is not that difficult, but uh, this is something that you must absolutely understand at uh, pretty much at all levels of mathematics. And you start learning about absolute value typically in, let's say, like courses like pre-algebra. But if you never heard of absolute value, this is not that difficult. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and get into things right now. All right, so the first thing we need to do is take care of these fractions right here. So we have negative 3 over 8 minus 7 eighths. Uh, we're going to have to simplify this, so hopefully you have strong fraction skills. This is actually quite easy. So we can subtract these fractions because they have the same denominator. Okay, so we'll have that one denominator, 8. So we're just going to simply subtract the numerator. So that will be negative 3 minus 7. So that's going to be our numerator. So negative 3 minus 7 is negative 10. That's uh, going to be negative 10 over 8. And, of course, negative 10 over 8 we can reduce to the fraction negative 5 over 4. Okay, so... When we subtracted these two fractions, we got negative 10 over 8, but really when we reduce that down, we have negative 5 over 4. All right, so what does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at what this means. So here we have the absolute value of negative 3 eighths minus 7 eighths. We know that is equal to negative 5 over 4. So the equivalent problem is the absolute value of negative 5 over 4. Okay, that's what our problem is really. Uh, uh, you know, kind of distilled down to, and the answer is a positive five fourths. All right, so that is the answer. Now, here is where a lot of students kind of get confused. They think that they're like, okay, if you give me the absolute value of negative seven, oh, that's going to be positive seven, right? Or the absolute value of a four, uh, positive four, that is going to be four. So uh, most students can get these problems correct, but they're, um, they they kind of have a false uh, understanding of what absolute value means, okay? For, you know, in a very simplistic way, you might be saying to yourself, well, if the absolute value of 4, positive 4 is 4, and the absolute value, let's say, of negative 4, if you run across that question, you're like, oh, I'm going to answer that as 4. Uh, a lot of students say, oh, the absolute value means just, you know, uh, the positive version of any number that you're dealing with, right? So it's like whatever number this is, just write the positive of it, you know, so this is negative four, just write the positive of it, and that is how you get the right answer. And in fact, basically, that is what you need to do, and that is why you would get the right answer if this is kind of your level of understanding about absolute value. But we want to kind of uh, take this a step further because I can assure you as a math teacher that's been teaching for decades, your teacher will kind of ask you some questions uh, that are is related to the definition of, of absolute value. So why is this the case? Uh, why is it that when we have a problem like this, we have the absolute value of negative 2, the answer is 2, and then the absolute value of positive 2, the answer is 2. Why is that the case? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me out on YouTube. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well. Now, the problem that we're doing involves uh, kind of first uh, year algebra. So if you need help with pre-algebra, Algebra 1 courses like that, check out uh, those courses of mine. You can find the links of those in the description of this video. So again, that would be pre-algebra. Algebra 1, or maybe even my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back to the problem at the definition of absolute value. Now, this is going to be a real, real quick review, but the definition of absolute value 
is the distance a number is from zero on the number line. Okay, so let's take a look at these two numbers, negative two. So here's negative two right there, and here is a uh, positive two. So when you're taking the absolute value of a number, just kind of think of, uh, of, you know, of somebody saying, hey, go get a tape measure and uh, measure from zero to negative two that distance. So let's start off with uh, two here, okay? So let's take the distance. We're finding the distance of two from zero on the number line. So, okay, what is the distance? Well, distance is always measured in positive units, okay? If you if you tell your friends, oh, I live five miles away, you don't say I live negative five miles away, right? When you measure, you know, like the uh, windows or floors in your house, or if you're kind of like trying to figure out the dimensions of a room, you're not using negative uh, numbers. Now, there is a time and a place where you can have negative values associated with uh, uh, distances, whatnot, but not in this case. So simplistically thinking, the distance is always positive, all right? So from zero to two, if we went on our tape measure, maybe that's like two inches away, right? So you're like, okay, I'll just go ahead and measure this out. One, that's two units away from zero. That's two, okay? So uh, two is two units away from zero. All right, how about negative two? Well, if you look here, it's the same distance, right? So from here, to here, it's the same distance. So this is two units away from zero and negative two is also two units away from zero. So negative two, again, right here, is two units away from zero. So that is the definition of absolute value. That's what you really need to kind of uh, understand. And now you know why when you take the absolute value of a negative number, it is positive. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math algebra and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.